Okay, so basically I just wanted to get a little synopsis about the show. I kind of read up on it, but I want to kind of get your take on it. Either of you. Uh, you I know, love that you're working together, by the yeah, way. Like, oh, that's I great. love that I work with this, her too. It's my favorite. She's my favorite co-star. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, well, um, when I tell people about Salvage Marines, I just kind of talk to them about, you know how the thing you're most scared of happening in our country? What if it happened? <laughs> you know, like the corporations own us. Mm -hmm. We're born with this debt that's passed on throughout our family. And the only way to change your station is to go and die for the corporations. Go to the front lines of salvages. And uh, so that's what our characters do. It's, it's just you're born into an unfortunate place and you don't want to leave your children in the same mess you were left in. So you wow. risk your life for it. That is amazing. Like, it sounds really good. We didn't, unfortunately, get to watch the screener. Oh, yeah. So, no, but it turns out that I think it's in the email, okay, like, cool. way at the bottom. So yeah. we're going to watch it tonight because oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm super excited oh, about it. I can't it. wait for you to see it. You know, so far, the press reaction has been for, for me, which is wonderful for us, is, is that they've been going, I love it. Love the first two episodes. I can't wait for the rest of it. I'm like, well, you know, July 28th on Popcorn Flicks, you can watch it for free. Thank so, you for plugging it because I was yeah. going to ask you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Well, it's it's. I'm I'm so excited about. It. I don't know how they make money because they're doing it for free, but that's on them. Um, you know, but I'm I'm excited that they believe it so much. They brought us down here for it to have uh, uh, your the people that are releasing your um, you know the platform that's releasing your series to have them this excited is 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 just such a compliment to everything that we we put into it and we do. It's just so thrilling. Because we're such a little thing, we're not like a big studio where we have all these other things. This is like a throwback to like Star Trek or the original Doctor Who. Farscape. Farscape, yeah. Bob Rogers, Flash Gordon, all these things that I loved. This is like a kickback to that because what, what, what drove those things for me was the story and the relationships. Mm -hmm. And now we have, I think we've even improved on that with it. So it, it's been, the relationships here in this are real. Everybody's real. And we're, you know, no matter what race mm -hmm. or or sex or whatever we believe in, it doesn't It doesn't matter. We're all the same. We're all born into a, a servitude. Right. So. And I was actually going to ask you about that because we've obviously seen you during the, the convention and with everyone, the cast that was with you guys, you guys all seem like a very tight-knit group, like family. Yeah. How important is that of a dynamic when you're working on a show or a movie to really capture the emotions? Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I wish it was more of the case. A lot of times when you're doing a film or a TV show, you become a family anyhow with the people. The advantage we had on this one was these people were our friends before. So these were people that we all put in. And so this became, you know, our, it was already our family. So we didn't even that family you get as a film, we got that, but we already had it. So it was just like, we really, everything happened. People came in, you know, Shane Graham, who was in The Sun, came up to one time and we're just doing a scene and you know, I, I apparently I'm just sitting there, and he comes up and says, uh, "Brybar has resting murder face." <laughs> you know, hey, Brybar, what's up with your resting murder face? And I'm sitting there going, and I didn't break character, but but it's so funny because it, you know he put this in there, and it's just you know just you know we, we really go off with people. He goes, Casper, you look like you're gonna kill everybody every time you just sit there. I go, what do you mean? I'm I'm thinking nice unicorn rainbow thoughts right now and Skittles, and he's like. No, it looks like you want to kill everybody. And I go, <laughs> hmm. So. But that's really good. It really does seem like, you know, you guys have a close-knit family with this group. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's. I think that really does help, you know, really sell what when you I'm guys saying, are really trying to when do. When I read this, when I read it originally, of course, I could tell that the, the writer, Sean Michael Argo and Raphael Jordan, were Starship Troopers fans. I also knew Raphael, so I already knew, knew he was. That. I knew yeah. he was because yeah. he was at... My Starship Troopers 3 panel, my Starship Troopers 20 year panel. I mean, he's been at so many different things. So he's just a friend. Yes. So I already knew he was. Mm -hmm. But uh, looking at all these, you know, well, what was I saying? I went off on a tangent. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, seeing everybody, I, I, lost my, I lost my train of train thought so bad. Isn't that terrible? Oh, it happens all the time. So, so yeah. don't even I'm worry about it. I'll tell you, yeah. so watching him do interviews after COVID, we. we we got COVID like yeah. three months ago yeah. in Thailand. Oh. Got trapped in a box in Thailand together where they had to bring us our food at night. And I've watched him interview since COVID and it's just like things go like this. We have such brain fog. Yeah, brain fog. Well, I mean, it ha it's happening to everybody because yeah. I was actually nervous. I'm like, I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> 
And you guys have made it You're so easy right great. now. I'm telling you right now, you guys make it so easy. It's oh. like, I feel like I've known you for like forever. <laughs> and I know what, and now I remember. Yay! Yeah. See? It's brain fog gone. Brain comes back in. So when I was reading this, of course, Starship Troopers remind me of that, and that was great. So I'm reading it, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm reading the character Ben Takeda, and I go, Peter Shinkoda. And I call up the director, and I'm like, what do you think of Peter Shinkoda? He goes, oh my God. I love him. Do you think we can get him? I go, I'll call him. So I called up Peter and I told him about it. He's like, okay, guys. Okay, Van Dean, I'll read it. I'll read it. He comes back. He goes, I'm in. He goes, this character is Takeda. So Japanese name. So, but it's never talked about. So race is not talked about. Sexism is not talked about. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you are. We're all equal. We're all the same. And he goes, I love this. He goes, I don't get, as a, he said, as a minority, I, don't, I haven't gotten this. I don't, I usually get, they want me to do the stereotypical thing. He goes, and the thing that I love about this is that nobody's stereotypical. We're all the same. He goes, and, and he goes, it's really beautiful. And I, and I was like, I mean, it, yeah. that touched me so much yeah. that he had that experience. And he goes, he goes, I, I, haven't, he, I haven't been asked to do these things. I always get asked to, you know, something Japanese. Right. Yeah. He goes, that's, I don't get anything else. And, and, and I was like, well, I'm, I'm glad that's not the case in this one. He goes, no, it's, it's just... He said, and Peter also said the thing he loves about it, we love Peter, you can't tell. <laughs> oh, no, he's amazing, because I he actually is really good friends with my friend Chad, oh, and so I've, I've Chad talked Michael to him. Collins? No, 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 he, Osuna, he does podcast we actually met peter at one of the conventions like around daredevil time yeah. yeah and so we got to know him but those two are like peas in a pod they mm. they text each other all the time i'm like oh, what the heck the, peter's the sweetest. such a nice person you yeah. all are though and that's oh, the great and... that's what makes this you know great is because you love the fandom you yes. love you know all of the conventions everything and you're really great with your fans uh, I love, I you love know them. They're, they're like friends because yeah they they geek out the same way i geek out so I'm not just an actor. I'm not an actor who's like, oh, don't talk to me. I, I, I'm like, yes, let's talk about movies mm -hmm. and shows and and geeky stuff. And they're like, some, you know, somebody once asked me when I first was coming to these, they said, well, what do you think about those Comic-Con people? Everybody dressing up. Isn't that weird? And I go, it's what I do for a living. <laughs> what do you mean is it weird? And they were like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So I, I don't care. No. Well, speaking of, do you ever dress up at the conventions? I dress up as Casper Van Dien all the time. I it's love the it. Best the, you are the most amazing Casper Van Dien I am the most ever. He crashes amazing. How, he, the costume contests at different conventions. Do he you? crashes it as Casper Van Dien. I cut in line and they go, wait, I'm going to go ahead and you know what, but I'm next. I'm going to go ahead and they go, okay, Casper. I go, <laughs> they go, what are you cosplaying? They go, me? And they go, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can you not? So I do like, that. But she does Wonder Woman, and yeah. she's a and other ones too. She's done other ones, but she's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I met when I met her. This is what she looked like. This is the day. This is the first day I met her. Oh my God, that is amazing. Let's just get right up in there. Oh my God, that's so good. This is the this is the day I met her. I was like, I went, <laughs> and she goes, I get that a lot. Oh, I did not. Oh. <laughs> Well, I, I heard that in my head. No. Because I was just like, well, good. You know, and I didn't have COVID brain, so I couldn't blame it on that. Right. That one I couldn't blame. It was yeah. just the, it was her, her breasts <laughs> and, oh her, and her eyes. Somebody help And me. her smile Somebody and that outfit. I mean, I he like, just loves what? you. It's, a, it's totally fine. But it's... <laughs> No, it's a great cosplay. You do an amazing job, and I can't the wait to I've see your cosplay. Seen. Um, so anyway, we'll start wrapping it up because I know you guys have a lot to do. But I did just want to ask: anything super challenging while filming this? Did oh anything happen? Okay, I'm going to talk about her challenging thing. So we were going through the sand dunes, and we're running, we're doing all this stuff, and we didn't have stunt doubles, so we're all doing our own. We have one little friend, our girlfriend Ashley Nunez, is a, a track athlete. So okay. She's, She's fast. Mm -hmm. So, Peter and I are older, but we're still fit. Mm -hmm. The young guys are really fit and young, mm -hmm. but Ashley was the fastest. And, and no matter what she did, we were all like running after her. So we run all day, jumping and running up and down these sand hills in the middle of Louisiana, this desert. It's so weird. Um, and we're, we're, we're wiped out, it's hot, 110 degrees. We have these things, you can only be like this. Get done, I'm wiped out at the end of the day. I'm sitting down next to her dad who was coming in and played a Reaper for one day and even he didn't quit. He's like, I had to run because I saw Ashley run. Yeah. And I was like, we all felt that. Cause you know, he's like, mm -hmm. she, she outmanned all of us. That is Out hilarious. Woman -manned. Well, she woman manned all she of us. Woman <laughs> Yeah, she totally did. We were all like, oh my God, women. 
why did they have to be this good? Aww. But it was the case. <laughs> so at the end of the day, we're all done. We're all spent. Her dad and I are just sitting there like this at the end. And then they had Jenny, they go, they had the director goes, okay, I need you to go up that mountain. It's the biggest, <laughs> biggest sand hill in all of this thing. It was like the one where I was oh, like, no. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna go up there. And I go, I go to her, her dad goes, you know, she, she walks all the way up and then she runs down and jumps in the tent, she does all this stuff. This is the last shot of the day after us doing a 14 hour day. And she did it three times. And her dad goes, oh, in a she's amazing. Breathe. Yeah, in the helmet. You can only breathe at oh, the bottom no. of it. Oh, yeah. So they would put the defogger in and then say, all right, go on up. And I'd have to lock myself in because it. I needed help getting it set and getting the lights right. And then I had to walk up. It was probably about. 150 feet up. Oh my uh, it was, god! It was higher than that. It was huge. All right. Well, I'm really excited to see this then. So, <laughs> and, and but I then just... whenever I, I saw a preview, I'm like, that could be anyone. I should have just let Nicole Redinger do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole did a lot of my stunts. Yeah. Like there was like I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do all my own stunts. And then they say, okay, you fall off this two-story building, and I go, oh, Nicole. You got this. <laughs> You're more prepared. She's yeah. smart. Yeah, no, that's very smart. Smart. I, I'm the one that jumped off of buildings. Yes. He'll say yes. We've had this conversation. I got to stop. I just did a, a fall last year, a two-story fall, and I cracked my... Doing <gasps> a backflip off a rail. I did a black back... Uh, the guy was hired there to do it. There was a stunt guy there to do it, but they told us, oh, he's going to do this. And Cassie's like, I can do it. <laughs> so I did a... I, I, I back off the... I, do, I flip off and I go like this, and my head just missed the railing as I go over, because there's a railing right here. So I had to jump up, I had to launch myself up there, and Chad Michael Collins gave me a little push, but I had to do my whole flip over. Oh and I God. land, and, and, and as they had a phone down there for me to catch in the land, it bounced up and hit me in the jaw. And yeah, I, had and to get, I had to get a root canal. I had two, oh, uh, no. one cracked tooth and one root canal. That's when I said, no can more. we start letting our stunt doubles do their job? Yeah, and because I was like, oh, it's going to be so awesome. I'm going to see that it's me. It could have been anybody. Yeah. Could have been the real man doing <laughs> yeah. it. Not not some actor, man. Could have been one of the stunt men. You know, he's a real man. <laughs> he could have done it. He doesn't wear makeup. <laughs> he doesn't wear makeup. That Casper wears makeup and dresses up. Let the stunt guy do it. That's what we should have done. <laughs> But we never do. No. Yeah, we never do. Ego. Yeah. Well, we all well, got it. Also, slow learner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to thank you guys so much thank for taking you. the time to do this. We had such a great time. You guys thank are you so amazing. Much. Can't wait to see it. One more time, Ooh. where to watch. Popcorn Flicks on the 28th. It is free. It's streaming free. for free. What else get is Apple free? Apple TV, Roku, uh, any smart TV, or just Google it. Sweet. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you.